What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3 of the tutorial series on AWS CloudFormation. So guys, in this tutorial, we will go through one of the intrinsic functions that is substitute function. So basically the intrinsic function sub substitutes the variables in an input string with the values that we specify, right? So let's try to understand with an example. So guys, here as you can see on my screen, I have this template that is user underscore data dot yaml. So this is the same template that we have used in the previous tutorial in which uh, we were spinning up an instance with the user data, right? And we want to install some sort of dependency. That's where we have defined the user data. And we were also creating a directory that is called sample, right? So let's see uh, how we can modify this template and substitute few values using the sub function. So if you see on line number 24, then we have already used the sub function that is substitute function. But here within the string, we have not defined any variables uh, which we want to substitute, right? So this is the straightforward bash script, right? With Without any variables. So how can we define a variable uh, within the sub function, right? So the syntax is dollar curly braces and within that curly braces, the variable name, right? So it can be where name. So this is the syntax to define a variable. So variables can be template parameters name. It can be a resource logical IDs like uh, instance or instance type parameter, right? Resource attribute. So let's say, for example, here you have defined a Lambda function right and you want to fetch the arn of that lambda function then you will define something like this that is the logical id dot arn right so this is basically uh, fetching an attribute of the lambda function which attribute that is the arn function so this will be basically similar to exclamation get attribute something like this i don't remember the exact syntax so yes here it is get att a should be caps followed by the logical id that is lambda function name dot arn right so this on line number 32 is similar to what we do on line number 34 right and for example this is similar to the exclamation ref function lambda function right so this is how it works. So this is similar to what we use as the reference, right? Exclamation reference function followed by the logical ID name. And if we want to refer to any attribute, then we simply say dot ARN. So this is similar to basically get attribute of the Lambda function that is ARN, right? So that's basically logical IDs. Then it can also be a resource attributes as I mentioned or a variable in a key value map, right? So we will come to the key value map uh, in a while. Right, so now let's define a variable first. So this is the syntax and this is how you define the variable. So let me remove this. Now what I want to do is on line number 30, I'm creating a directory called sample, right? Now instead of that sample directory name, I want to create a directory with the name of the current region in which the stack is deployed. So for example, if we are going to deploy a stack in US East 1 region, then it should create a directory with the name US East 1. And for example, if I am deploying or creating this stack in AP South 1, then it should create a directory with the name called AP South 1, right? So that's what uh, it should reflect, right? Basically, it should reflect the current region name as a name of the directory. So what I will do is I have a remote sample, I will say, dollar curly braces and the variable. So here I'm going to use the pseudo parameter that is AWS colon colon region. So this will basically return the current region. And what will happen at runtime? This variable will be replaced by the US East one. That is the value of the AWS region pseudo parameter. And why it will substitute? Because here on line number 26, we have used the sub function and the functionality of the sub function is to replace or substitute the variables with the values, right? So now uh, let's have a look. Let's navigate to AWS Management Console. Let's say Cloud Formation Service. And once you are there, click on Create Stack. Say template is ready. Upload a template file. Choose a file. User data. Say next. Oh, it says. Uh, okay, so we have not removed this 
resource name on line number 16 let me remove that let's go back again choose a file user data now it should not throw any exception say next give a stack name i will say sub demo say next next again say create stack so now let's wait till this tag is being created so now as you can see this tag is created successfully let's click on resources and click on this physical id that will basically redirect us to the ec2 management console with the instance that the cloud formation template has created now we are going to select this instance we are going to copy the public ipv4 address and we are going to ssh into that instance so we will say ssh hyphen i that stands for the identity file followed by the actual file identity file that is flash.pm in my case followed by the username so it was the ubuntu instance so the username is going to be the ubuntu at the rate ipv4 public address that we have copied from the console paste enter and yes So here we are within the instance. Let me clear this and let's say ls. So as you can see here we have the directory with the current region name that is US East 1, right? In which this tag is deployed. So this is how basically we can define a variable and this is how the sub function will substitute that variable with the actual value at the runtime, right? Now let's go ahead and delete this template let me exit from here first logged out say clear delete the stack say delete stack so now guys this was pretty straightforward right so this is how we can define a variable so this can be anything this can be a logical id as i mentioned this can be a resource attribute or it can be a variable or it can be a pseudo parameter or it can be any parameter name right now uh, let's say we want to use the mapping substitute right uh, which might be the result of some reference function so let's say uh, we want to combine two values and then uh, we want to map that value back to that variable so how we can do that right so let's say i want to define a custom variable which will be a result of combination of two values let's say so let me say a dir name so this is the custom variable uh, this is not the logical id of any resource right so now if i go ahead and upload this template then it's going to throw an exception saying the dir name is not defined or something like that so here we have to define the mapping for this dir name variable Right, so for that what we are going to do is we are going to define a list so in yaml to represent or define a list we will simply say enter right tab and hyphen so this is the first element in the list now the second element is going to be the actual mapping of that directory name or the dir name that we have defined as a variable right now to create the mapping for that uh, directory name or that variable we are going to define a dictionary so curly braces space and then we will say a value saying dir name so what will be the value of this dir name that we are going to define as a part of the value so here again we are going to use another function right so since we want to combine the reference value of two pseudo parameters let's say so i will say exclamation i'm going to use the join function join followed by the list now what i want to join that would be defined within this list right now the first parameter or the first element within the list within the join list is going to be the delimiter right with which value i want to combine this uh, values right so it's going to be the hyphen it can be anything right so this is the delimit delimiter with which our other values are going to concate or get combined right now which are those values so again the second element is going to be a list right so i will say reference 
refer to refer to what let's say a pseudo parameter aws colon colon stack name right so the first value is going to be a stack name then the other value which i want to use is the region so again i will say a pseudo parameter aws colon colon region right so there could be another parameter so let's say uh, i want to say custom there something like this right so now what will be the outcome of this so the outcome will be first it will fetch the aws tag name so let's say i have defined the value for this tag name is abc while creating this tag and then it will fetch the current region so now this hyphen is the delimiter that we have defined over here right so abc hyphen the another value that is region so it's going to be the us is one then again hyphen that is the delimiter right and what is the third one is custom dir right so this is a string basically so it's going to be a custom dir right so the directory that uh, so the directory that we want to create uh, will have these name right that is abc hyphen us is one hyphen custom dir so it will create the directory with this name so let's have a look whether it is working or not so save this go back to cloud formation service say create stack with new resources upload a template file choose a file user underscore data dot yaml say next give a stack name so i will say abc for reference say next next again and say create stack so now the stack has been created let's wait so now as you can see the stack has been created successfully let's click on the resources and the physical id this will basically redirect us to the ec2 management console so here is the instance so select that instance copy the ipv4 public address navigate to terminal say ssh hyphen i followed by the identity file that is class.pem in my case followed by the username that is ubuntu at the rate ipv4 public address say enter say yes so here we are within the instance let me clear this out and say ls so sometimes it just takes some time to get reflected or populated right so let's wait so now as you can see here we have the directory with the name abc hyphen us is one hyphen custom dir right so this is what we have expected as the directory name. So I can say CD, ABC and custom dir, right? So here we are. So guys, uh, this is how you can define a variables, right? And a key value map if required as and when required, right? As per your requirement or the use case. So guys, that's it for this tutorial and I hope I was able to explain properly how sub function works and how you can use it in uh, within your AWS cloud formation template. And guys, so till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.